Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Side News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a quick reaction to the Ontario Reign versus the San Diego Goals as Matthew Vallalta's team was able to prevail on a great offensive splurge in game one, as that was not for the goaltender duo people. Such as myself that loves watching great goaltending, but I also love watching great offense as a whole as well, which that is entirely what took flight in game one of the series on Wednesday between the rain when Lupino was able to score only 11 seconds in. Drew then scored trying to pass it. Carrick scored on a blast. And then Lamoe just scored the garbage time goal for uh, the goals. But what happened in this game is the goals got off to a great start. They seemed to get too comfortable with that great start. Fagamo, who has one of the best uh, Samuel Fagamo, who has one of the best shots in the game, was able to score twice on two wires. Uh, Austin Wagner was able to score shorthanded, which really seemed to set the tempo back into the Kings, or, or excuse me, into the Ontario Reigns direction, the Kings affiliates direction. Once they scored that shorthanded goal, it seemed like the goals didn't really have a lot of punch back. Fagamo scored his second after that shorthanded goal. Tika Shev was able to score. Sorry if I mispronounced names. I freaking suck with some. And then Akil Thomas was able to score twice. One on the empty net, one on the beautiful wrister, which he had again in game two. Have a series of kill Thomas. Fagamo had a series as well. Wagner is very good on both ends of the puck. Made some great defensive plays and scored that shorty. And Morton Furk had a blast as well. This was a great game by the rain to be able to stay with their game, not panic, where I felt the goal got too complacent once they went up, and that's what freaking caused them in this game. But also, I picked the rain to win the series, so I ain't complaining this far. I've got all my three for threes uh, right this far where we have it back here. I picked the rain against the goals. I picked the Condors versus the Canucks this far. And the P Bruins versus the Isles right now. And the other people I picked were the Bears versus Pens. I picked the Bears right now. The Pens are winning. The Eagles I picked over the Knights. And the Ice Hogs I picked over the Texas Stars. So, so far, so good in the series prediction. But that was the first game. As in the second game, Matthew Vallalta, who you expect to be a very good guy in cage, was exactly that. It just was a very good goaltender battle where no Ole Erickson Eck had to come in, who's a very solid young netminder, but he's no Dostal, who's likely going to be the guy if Gibson gets pushed out. That's good to get the op not not because Gibson's a bad goaltender, but just because it's everybody meets their time. If he ends up getting moved on from for just meeting his time in Anaheim and ends up having success somewhere else, Dostal's definitely going to be the man in cage for the Ducks, and then Erickson Eck. We'll get a chance in the goals, but he came in in game one. He did not have to come in in game two, where this game was the opposite. The Ontario Reign were able to get up to a good start on a great wrist shot by Thomas, a great shot by Willinen as he was able to cut in the defenseman Christian Willinen, and he was able to score. And then the goals pushed back in this. They showed no panic. They showed the ability to stick with their game plan. The, not a game for the power plays at all. Each were one for five. But they showed the ability to sit to the game plan, came back, Prince was able to score. Ben Gates Jr. was able to score in the second period. And that was able to get them back, or Brent Gates Jr., excuse me, was able to score in the second period. And that was able to get them back into it. But then the MVP, the AHL, former AHL MVP, a guy that's a star of the AHL, Mr. Clutch himself, TJ Tynan, was able to wait for the screen and just wait, 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 so to make sure it got past Dostal is on that winning goal. Allard and Firk both got assists as Tynan was literally Mr. Patience there, waiting for the perfect seam and the perfect spot so that the goaltender was blocked out. Otherwise, Dostal, with how good and zoned in he and Velado was in this game, it likely was going to be a save in cage there if he did not wait there. So great patience, excuse me, by TJ Tyne in there to win the game. This has been a quick series recap of the Rain versus San Diego goal. The Rain move on as the goals get swept in a two-game series. First game was an offensive onslaught, solid by the goals to be able to compete in the game like that. But realistically, the scoreboard looks sexier than the actual overall game. Where the goals got off to a good start, really let the rain pull back. The second game was really competitive by them, though, as they got off to a bad start, the goals, but then were able to battle back. And then, unfortunately for their fans, in overtime, they were not able to play <clears throat> sharp enough defense in their zone. One of the best in the game was able to get an open shot in TJ Tynan, and he was able to wait and be patient for the screen in front of the net, and he was able to score. So that is how this series went. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. This has been Sports Bat News' latest series recap of a Calder Cup playoff series between the Ontario Reign and the San Diego Goals, as in the Battle of California.
the Ontario rain move on. Peace out, everybody.